Let's make one of Hong Kong's favorites, clear broth beef noodles. Have you ever eaten in one of these famous restaurants? Their signature dish, beef brisket in clear soup. But did you know, these restaurants also serve secret recipe curry sauce. It's one of those, if you know, you know kind of thing. The noodle of choice, yi fu noodles, yi mi. So here's a simplified copycat version that you can easily replicate at home. Firstly, instead of using brisket, we're gonna use beef rib fingers. Where brisket would normally take four hours to stew, beef rib fingers only take one and a half hours. And the texture and flavor are just as beefy. We're gonna throw in some beef tendons to accompany the beef ribs. Both ingredients in a pot and cover with water. Then on medium low heat, bring the water to a boil. Do this process as slowly as you can because we want the impurities of the beef to boil out so that we can extract it and wash it off. Simmer this way for about 30 minutes, then take all the pieces out and wash them off. Discard the water that was used to boil the beef and start the process again with fresh water. Add ginger, spring onions, and garlic. Add a red onion or some shallots. Then add a teaspoon of Chinese five spice powder. Add half a teaspoon of white pepper and a teaspoon of salt. I've used Himalayan salt. The method of pre-blanching the meat along with these aromatics help to deliver a very deep yet clean flavor of beef and minimize the gaminess. It also helps to minimize the amount of oil that comes out of the beef in the cooking process. And you'll see that after cooling down and being placed in the fridge, only a small amount of fat will float to the surface. And that's a good thing. As an accompaniment, simmered daikon radish. We call this loba. Peel and cut the radish into very uneven chunks. Why uneven, do you ask? Simply because it's impossible to cut them into even chunks, so you might as well celebrate the unevenness of it. Sometimes law back when you simmer it for a long time will become bitter. So what you need to do is add a little bit of salt, add a little bit of sugar and let it steep for a while and have it extract a bit of the water and a lot of the bitterness from the daikon radish. Wash, drain and simmer in a separate pot for about 45 minutes. The water that the radishes have been cooking in will now turn very flavorful and sweet. You can add that into the pot of beef to add more flavor. After about an hour of jacuzzi, take out the beef rib fingers and test them for tenderness. Slicing is one thing, but the real test is you have to put it in your mouth and eat it. If it's tender with a little bit of give, that's exactly what you want. If it's still a little bit chewy, you can cook it for a little bit longer. The beef tendons need another hour to cook. We're gonna add some concentrated chicken broth and two splashes of fish sauce. Let that simmer away until the tendons are jiggly. Now on to our curry sauce. Most curry sauces found in these noodle shops have a little bit of potato in it. Peel your potato and chop them up into cubes. You don't have to be too fancy or too precise. Put it in a pot and then cover it with some water and start simmering for about 20 minutes. Hong Kong style curry is a combination of Malaysian style curry and Indian masala. I'm gonna use this jar of curry paste because it's more convenient and I can get the accurate flavors. And I'm gonna add a special something something. One of Hong Kong's most famous street foods is curry fish balls. And I have this jar of curry fish ball seasoning. I'll add two teaspoons in there and the combination of the curry paste and this curry fish ball flavor will give you a very, very special curry that maintains that Hong Kong identity. Simmer the curry for another 10 minutes and then turn off the heat. Cook the noodles in boiling water for about three minutes. Strain and put directly in a bowl. I put some fried garlic, chopped coriander and chopped spring onions in a spoon. Pour the hot soup on top of my noodles and voila, perfection. Please like and subscribe. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below and make you and your family this wonderful noodle dish. Oh, that, that's the stuff. That's the good stuff right there.